Are you annoyed, fed up, can't take it anymore with that Windows ME? Well, fret and fume no longer. David Karp, author of Windows ME Annoyances and proprietor of the website annoyances.org, is here to give us a few tips which should make your life a little bit easier. David, now why, in particular, is Windows ME so annoying? Uh, I think the, the main reason is that that's what is shipping on new computers. This is what this is what people are least accustomed to and are still learning and um, in Microsoft's effort, effort to fix the problems of the previous ones, they've introduced a whole bunch of new problems. Um, and like uh, one of your callers uh, mentioned in the, before the break, uh, it isn't as much of, a, of an upgrade as people would have liked. They, don't, they didn't fix all the problems that we've been suffering through for the last six years. We found ME to be a little bit less stable. Are they big annoyances like stability or are they smaller kind of niggling things that you've found? What are some examples? And I'd, I'd say I found problems ranging from uh, simple, simple things like dragging and dropping icons to uh, programs, software simply not working with Windows ME, networking problems. Uh, you name it, there's, there's, there's problems in just about every category. And the thing is, one person's annoyance is another person's feature and vice versa. So it kind of depends on who you ask and what specifically they're, they're having problems with. Show us what you mean by the drag and drop. Aspect. Well, this this is this is one thing that they've changed in Windows ME, and I thought this is kind of interesting. You, anyone who's used Windows 95 or Windows 98 for a while knows that if you drag and drop an .exe file from one place to another, it creates a shortcut. You get a shortcut to, to Notepad, which uh, is over here now. Yeah, there huh. it is. And in Windows ME, that has changed. You drag and drop a, a an .exe file, and it moves or copies it. Huh. Um, most of the time, unless you put it in the start menu, the, the the rules are a little more complicated. But they've they've gone to some length to try to make the make Windows a little less annoying. That was the drag and drop was one of the most annoying things. The fact that shortcuts were created. And what would be another thing that really drives you nuts? Um, I'd say that. Uh, excuse me. That's okay. That's um, all right. I I think the the next. Simple thing. The next uh, e easy to illustrate uh, problem with Windows has has been the animation. Every time you open a menu, mm. you see this animation. It makes me feel like I'm using a 486. <laughs> the way this th just every it just seems so slow and it's so easy to turn off. You can right click on the desktop or go to the Display Properties and Control Panel. Okay. And go to Effects, and just turn off these transition menus. Uh, transition effects. Excuse me. Okay. From using tooltips, you click OK. You look how quick the menu is. Ah. Same thing with the start menu. Pop. Pops Boom. up. Pops right up, there. Pops up. Really simple thing, and it makes such a difference. What about the web view? Uh, the web view is something that, that nobody seems to like in Windows 98, and they didn't really abolish it in Windows ME, but they changed the way it uh, is turned on and off. Uh, for example, in, in Windows ME, there used to be an option that said web view here, and you could just turn it off. And now, in Windows ME, you have to it's buried. The options are buried. When you first install Windows ME or get it pre-installed in the operating system, it's it's turned on and it, it's really irritating. I have a chapter devoted to it. It's so, <laughs> so bad. And you have to to, uh, to turn it off. You have to play around with these, some of, some of these options and folder options like enable web content, you enable web content, and uh, it takes a little bit of trial and error to get rid of it completely. The final one is the places bar. The places bar. This is a real. This is an interesting. New. Um, th this is an interesting new feature in, in Windows ME. I, I can actually call it a feature. Anyone who's <laughs> been using uh, Microsoft Office for a while uh, is rec has recognizes this. This look in box where it mm. shortcuts to various places. It reminds me of computer. Microsoft Outlook. It's a very Outlook, Outlooky kind Outlook of feel. Outlook was the first was the first program to to exhibit this this little gray bar down the side, and it it, it, it doesn't seem to be very consistent from one program to another, but in Windows ME and in Office and Outlook, um, they all the file dialogs have these mm. places. You can quick, quickly go to your desktop or My Documents and My Computer, and it's convenient. But not everybody wants to. I mean, how often do you go to My Network Places looking for files? Well, that's the thing. I was just thinking. You know, I've never ever used any of those buttons. I always right. use the navigation tools off the top. Right. So, and, and everybody has different needs. Everybody has different places they go for files. Everybody. Uh, has a different way that they organize their work. And luckily, you can 
luckily you can configure this bar to have the places you want. And that is done through Tweak UI, which we've, uh, which I know you and, and I, on uh, various occasions, have recommended to people. Oh, yes, great. And strangely enough, Microsoft insists that it will not work within Windows ME. And in fact, that is a lie. Huh. <laughs> it uh, works perfectly in Windows ME. In fact, it is designed for Windows ME. <laughs> the open tab right here allows you to choose a custom places bar. Oh, great. So you can choose your own files. You can choose my computer, or you can type in C uh, stuff, like oh. that. Very cool. Well, generally, this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the annoyance yeah. factor, right? That, absolutely. Well, you have uh, a website, annoyances.org, which that's is right. dedicated to this whole concept. And, and that's also, where you can get Tweak UI, by the way. Oh, you can you download it. You can't get there. it from Microsoft anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I know that that's a good thing to know. Annoyances.org. Also, uh, if you want to check out any more of David's work, you can go look at Windows ME Annoyances, a book I'm sure filled with all those things that will drive you insane and you'll get completely versed in them, and then Windows XP will be out, correct? And you'll have a whole new book ready well, to go. That's what I'm working on. <laughs>